Bees had been living in this washing machine and I was called to remove them. So I carefully lifted the lid and I found a beautiful hive full of honey and very gentle bees. When I looked inside, I saw layer after layer of fresh honeycomb. The bees had worked so hard to build this hive and I wanted to do everything I could to preserve it for them. So I started to remove the outermost parts of the hive with nectar and honey. Then I reached the heart of the hive, the brood nest. This is where the queen lays eggs and where the baby bees are born. Everything that I removed from the washing machine would be given right back to the bees in their new hive. But these pieces of comb were pretty big, so I had to cut them in half to fit into the wooden frames of the new hive. I secured each piece of comb to a frame using rubber bands, then I put the comb into the new hive. Next, I started scooping bees out of the washing machine and putting them into the new hive. As a professional beekeeper, the most important part of my job is being able to understand bee behavior, and I could tell that these bees felt comfortable with me as we worked together. After most of the comb had been removed from the washing machine, I looked around and suddenly I saw the queen at the back of the washing machine. She was a strong and beautiful queen, so I put her in a clip to keep her safe and I put her in the new hive. It looked like most of the colony had moved to the outside of the washing machine, so I used my smoker to herd them into the new hive using a little bee bridge I made for them. I scooped a few more handfuls of straggler bees into the new hive. Then I left the new hive there all afternoon. When I returned just before sunset, most of the bees had moved into the new hive, so I loaded the bees into my truck and we drove home. I had just enough daylight left, but I was able to get them settled into their new home in my apiary, and it was another great day of saving the bees.